السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome back to my channel, friends. This is our second video of 300 VA solar inverter inverter circuit. In our last video, we discussed the block diagram of this board, of this inverter. It is 3000 VA. If you have not checked my this video for part one, I will suggest you can check part one. Video number four hundred thirty nine on my channel, where I discussed the com configuration of this circuit. In this video, we will discuss the high power rail. There are two sections. The first section, high power, high current section, twelve volt, and high amperage will go to the booster section. Booster section will boost the voltage, and output switch will provide the output. we will see the configuration and in our next video we will check the control section so let's start here we have positive negative terminal positive and negative positive is reaching to the fuse there are four fuses 1 2 3 4 four fuses in parallel four fuses in parallel then we have a protection diode reverse polarity protection these are two diodes in parallel what will happen if the battery is con connected in reverse polarity negative negative line by mistake is connected to the positive pole of the battery and positive is connected to in cross connection in that condition the diode will forward bias because if we apply positive this diode is reverse bias if you apply reverse connection negative here positive here so this diode will forward bias so if it is forward bias it will allow the maximum current to flow as we know the diode have just only 0.7 volt drop in forward condition so it will give the easiest path to the current so it will allow maximum current the fuse will burn out fuse will blow away so it will disconnect the path for the next circuit and our next circuit will protect it now our these positive voltage are reaching to two transformers after fuse this transformer center tape winding this transformer center tape winding so we are receiving positive voltage here this is one end of the winding which is connected to these, these two mosfets and second end of primary is connected to these two mosfets so four mosfets are driving one transformer the similar here 2 and 2 4 these mosfets are driving the both ends of this winding so it is in push pull combination and both transformer primary windings are in parallel why these are in parallel first we will draw the circuit and then we will discuss why these are in parallel the first transformer primary winding so it is center taped so both center taped windings are connected to the same point and these are connected to the positive line so positive is reaching this center tape and this center tape now we have this drive end and this drive end two mosfets to drive this transfer this winding two here two two here two mosfets here so we have 2 4 6 8 the first set this one this have one drive and the second transformer first set it have the same drive four mosfets are in parallel the other four are in parallel drive a drive b we will discuss this drive section separately we are just discussing the power rail the high voltage rail high current rail now we can check 
where is the drive for these MOSFETs? We have TL494, we have one SMD transistor here, the second SMD is here. So first transistor which is being driven from this TL494, it will drive the first MOSFET, the second MOSFET, this MOSFET and this one. So one, two, three and four. These two are being driven from this transfer, transistor and the second transistor here it have no concern with this one. It will drive number three, number four, number seven and number eight. So it will drive the second two pairs, first pair and the second pair. So four MOSFETs will driven in one half cycle and the second four will driven from the second half cycle. Why this is used in this configuration? Because we need a high amount of current from the primary to take output. So if it will use a heavy transformer, large size transformer, it will cause to increase the current in the primary. So it is using the divided current in two primaries. Then there is another thing. The secondary side of this, these transformers. This output of this transformer is connected to the second transformer. And the second end is connected to these rectifiers. So secondaries are in series. So secondaries are in series and it is connected to the rectifiers. So in the output of this transformer which is in series we have two diode packs here. One set common cathode and second set and in the output of this rectifier set we have capacitor. So we have CT that is common cathode and we have CA common anode. We can see the symbols on the diodes as well. Common anode and common cathode rectifiers here. These will rectify the voltage and these voltage will stored on this capacitor here. This rectifier is providing voltage to this line and this rectifier is providing to voltage to this line and it is reaching here on these MOSFETs. We have H-bridge switching topology here which will switch the voltage, these voltage in the output section. Here we have a bleeder resistor across the capacitor. When the system is powered off, so it will discharge this capacitor. So it is in high ohmic range that is here it is exactly across this capacitor this point and this point now we have these two lines the negative line will start from here and here, here we have a current sensor resistor that will monitor the current the output current and its feedback will reach through this point to the microcontroller so this line is reaching here, then we have a resistor here, current sensor resistor and this negative line is connected to this MOSFET and the positive line from this point is reaching to these two MOSFETs. This high voltage from this point will reach here to first MOSFET positive then we have the second MOSFET here and negative is reaching here high voltage these will approximately 350 to 400 volt 
it will depend on the different type of inverters then we have the same configuration here now this is our output switch and here we have in negative line we have current sensor resistor its drop voltage will reach to the microcontroller to monitor the system current now we have 350 volt on these two lines our this drive will drive in cross when this MOSFET will turn on at that time this MOSFET will turn on how it will work the positive voltage will pass to this line and negative voltage will reach to this line so positive and negative if we have 330 volt will DC will switched negative to this line positive to this line and immediately because this switch will work at 60 Hertz after that this will disconnect and the drive will swap to these transistors these MOSFETs will turn off these will turn on if it will turn on remember last time the negative was on this line and positive was on this line now when this switch is on and this will off when it will off the positive voltage will reach on this line and similarly negative voltage will reach from this side this and this at that time this line is negative and this line is positive now the switch will shift this will turn off and it will turn on when it will turn on what will happen this line positive voltage will reach to this line and now this switch is turned off this switch will turn on when it will turn on the negative voltage will reach at this line so this line will drop and the next cycle these switches will turn on again at that time the positive will reach to this switch it will go positive and it will become negative so both lines if we measure will if we will check this line with this line this is negative this is positive this is positive this is negative exactly as we have in the line and neutral so line and neutral are opposite to each other it is 330 volt if it is 330 volt multiply it with 0 0.707 330 volt multiplied by 0 0.707 it will become 233 volts in this way we don't have line and neutral the both lines will opposite to each other all the time so our these boosted voltage the amplified voltage will switched in this waveform in our next part of this video we will discuss how the drive section will work in this stage and in this stage sorry this this negative rail is connected to these negative sides of the MOSFET sources of all MOSFETs ideally positive negative if we have a transformer winding here center taped and we have a MOSFET here this MOSFET is connected here if we see ideally if this MOSFET is off there should no current flow this must be open so if we connect multimeter here now I will add some safety in the input terminal if our circuit is good ideally in this configuration if I will connect in diode mode 
positive here, negative here, this diode is reverse biased and there is no current flow because this MOSFET should turn off. So it will open. If I will connect in this way, this diode will forward bias and I will find continuity here. So let's check this circuit. It is short circuit. It is short circuit. Why? Because our these MOSFETs are damaged. These are in short circuit condition. So we will remove these MOSFETs and then we will check what will happen. And we will continue our this lesson in our upcoming video and we will discuss the drive sections for the output switch and for this high frequency driver. I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question please let me know in the comment box. If you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it. If you want to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.